Never meet your idols. They might bite. I mean, if they're a murderous animatronic that's about to get you, then yeah, ain't that a true statement. How's it going everyone, and welcome to a demo for an upcoming FNAF fan game called A Shadow of Orions. This is a FNAF fan game that stars a lot of FNAF YouTubers from 8-Bit Ryan, Doku, Fusion Z Gamer, Razbowski, and uh, Baz, and mainly Bad Eye Hero. And so uh, we play as Razbowski, who is the night guard, and uh, we gotta survive against, uh, you know, these other fellow FNAF tubers that turned animatronic. And, uh, and yeah, I had seen a whole lot of behind the scenes stuff, including the gameplay itself, and I just gotta say, you know, the game functions very smoothly thus far from whenever I played it at that pass point. However, I won't go into any of that certain stuff, uh, you know, as tradition whenever it comes to a lot of these FNAF fan games that I'm now about to play for myself for the very first time in its, uh, you know, demo stage or full version. I'm not gonna go into any certain, uh, spoilers, alright? This is a three-night demo. You are Rasbowski. You have just found work at a recently opened restaurant in London. The job pays well, but... There may be a good reason to that, huh? Yeah, maybe the owners just graciously want to just, you know, give a great payout to anyone who works the night shift at this place, or maybe it's because that night guards are dispendable at this uh, location, and so they just want to bait unsuspecting victims with the, you know, decent-looking paycheck, and, well, I'm gonna be the next person to fit in the shoes, and, well, let's see how, uh you know, worth it this paycheck actually is. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this three-night demo for a Shadow Over Rides, then, shall we? Oh, and here's the warning screen. Caution, this game contains flashing lights, loud noises, and depictions of violence. If you are offended or sensitive to any of this, do not play this game, as it is not suitable for children. If you hear something unnatural in the same room as you, find a safe hiding place. Hide until the noises are gone. Well... I don't think I have any sort of hiding places in my room at all, so I think I'm probably screwed in that regard. This game is a fan game of Finance of Freddy's, owned by Scott Coffin and Steel Wolf Studios. We hope you enjoy A Shadow of Orion's. Signed, Swirly Head Mate. Finance of Freddy's is owned by Scott Coffin and Steel Wolf Studios. Copyright at 2023. Oh, man. And, yeah, I'm just probably gonna, you know, walk by you for a second here just to get deeper into the restaurant here. You don't mind, uh... Animatronic? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna get on out of here. Oh, and this is a tip screen? Alright. Ryan will attack from the left side of the hallway, and there goes some more stuff about his mechanic there. Oh, that's so cool how there's like an actual, like, varying tip screen for, you know, whatever the game loads. There is a demon that lives in my mind, huh? Alright, I really do like the, uh, Creepy ambience. Oh! I can't feel it there, but I know that it's there. I can almost hear it laughing at me, a dark, low-pitched giggle like that right there in the back of your mind. Yeah, that does not sound friendly at all, and oh, hi there, <laughs> Ryan Fusions and Gamer and Daco, just all chilling out on the stage there. It sometimes speaks to me, it's a voice is strange, familiar even. I mean, if it's trying to tell you some uh, evil thoughts that just don't freaking listen to him whatsoever, because it's my own voice? I guess this might be the uh, evil entity that's, you know, haunting our mind after all, or maybe that could be something else entirely. It mimics my legs. It mimics my arms. It mimics my articulation. My song. I uh, say, so what about a mimic? <laughs> but it's not me. Oh, what a... Oh, start off to this game here. A Shadow over Ryan's. Oh, that's really cool how the... Letters just flicker away like little neon signs there. Oh, hi there, Doggo. Just twitching away in the main menu screen. <laughs> wow, this menu looks sick. 
I like the purple aesthetic that it all has. A shadow over Ryan's, and you got the classical music just playing in the background just to add on to the overall uh, vintage nature of this, uh, you know, location here. So let's uh, go ahead and look at more of the credits created by Cerulean Head Made and Chumbro Bam, programmed by Chumbro Bam and Autumn Satire, composed by Cerulean Head Made, Infinity Frequencies, Miru 7014, animatronic models by CXG Plays YT, and Scripkin. Oh, man, I cannot wait to freaking get started with this game right here. And, uh, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, play through the full version when that comes out in the future. So, yeah, I guess I'll uh, not worry about why you're crying out tears of maybe motor oil. I guess you're probably going uh, to drink one too many oil cans and, well, it's probably seeping out from your eye sockets. All right, let's get started with this then, shall we? Oh, then it just uh, fades off into the void just like that. Oh, Doc will move away from his stage and will enter the window in front of you. He will teleport to kill you unless you shine the flashlight in his eyes, I see. Oh. oh, we're getting like a phone message? Okay. Um. Yeah, hello? Hey, Ryan. Just wanted to leave this message here. Oh. Uh, we're driving up to the place. Job, yeah? Yeah, I actually do Ryan have a job. A yeah. Pretty excellent place to work at, to be honest. Good pay, too. Oh, yeah, that's where they get you in a lot of these places. Ain't bad pay at all. At least I think that's what the ad said. I actually applied for the job, too. Oh, really, huh? Did that's you good. Obviously, I ain't trying to take your job from you. Hit me up when you get back from work, okay? Oh. And try not to worry about those rumors that came up about the place. Yeah, you know, sure, second one. Well. The break in and the other stuff. I bet they're probably just made up stories about this place. Oh, uh, oh, gotta go, man. Later. Uh, okay, uh, don't let me keep you for any more longer. Uh, after this job, I'm probably gonna tell you so much about it, and it's not gonna be the good kind of, you know, stories. June 7th, 1999. Oh, and this is Sunday. Oh, here we go. Back in the office. Hey, Raz. Uh, hey, I just wanted to leave a message about your new job here, Raz. Hey, right? you doing, See, me? the place is opening in a week or so, so the company needed a knock guard to monitor the place. We have some pretty fancy crap here. You'd be surprised by how much the circuits in those animatronics are worth. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to I'm not going to give you better ideas. Yeah, thanks for the welcome. Yeah, we hadn't fully set up our craft of the warehouse yet. There's still a few props that we need to set up, as well as another animatronic suit that we have to clean out before we send it here. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You weren't here for that. Oh, there I am. Long story short, some kids decided it would be fun to, well, spray paint one of our new oh, suits that we were planning on using. We had some of the staff that to fix it up over the weekend. Oh, I can imagine. Freaking well, bugs, plushy. Anyways, yeah, this will be a job for the next week. You gotta be gone to place from oh. 1 p.m. to 6 a.m. Now, you probably heard the occasional As rumor of the animatronics acting out their performances, especially the Darko animatronic. And, well, they are rumors. The animatronic circuit boards are the best, as you can likely imagine. Well, yeah, the boss had a bunch of what was up with their circuits. And, apparently, there was an error with their CCS, or criminal control system. Basically, the animatronics are programmed to seek out potential criminals and crooks and detain them accordingly. This malfunction, though, I'm oh, yeah. really, really sorry we didn't tell you this beforehand, but the animatronic CCS is, well, constantly activated, which, in other words, means that they'll think you're a criminal, too. I nah, suggest this great. to the company to make the animatronics recognize company-provided outfits, badges, stuff like that. Yes, I'm not sure the worst they'll after all. around, though. We haven't gotten any reports of it, though. If they do, you'll see it on the cameras. But, oh, yeah, that reminds me. You have a camera system you can oh, use. Check out the that? few flashy pieces of tech we got. Stuff of the future, I'm telling you. Anyways, the cameras also have a, get this, a flashlight function built in. I'd say that's pretty sweet, huh? Oh, oh yeah, so it really is. This place gets very dark at night. However, uh, this place runs on a generator, so if you run out of juice, I don't think you'll be able to use them anymore. Another thing you probably won't be able to use are the doors. These have an electronic lock mechanism implemented into them to protect against criminals getting into places they shouldn't be. 
Yeah, you can probably guess that the company is very paranoid about break-ins or potential theft. Oh, anyway, for real, they that's are. That's all I wanted to tell you folks tonight. Enjoy your new summer job, Raz. Yeah, I appreciate it there, uh, phone guy, uh, also known as uh, me. <laughs> Oh, man, it's always such a pleasure to, you know, just do some voice acting stuff for one of these games, man. I mean, regardless of, uh, you know, me feeling a little bit awkward just, like, trying to do, like, one of these voice acting roles, I, I still have fun with it regardless. So, yeah, I uh, really do appreciate it a whole lot of, you know, swirls for that, uh, you know, cool <laughs> that role for, you know, being the phone guy in this game. And, no, oh, man, <laughs> obviously, yeah. Uh, not the best uh, voice actor in the world, but yep, yeah, that that's all fine. I just gotta survive against these animatronics here. Rules, no running, no screaming, no farting out loud. Stay close to parents, don't touch the animatronics, no hitting, leave before night. Don't get near talking. Oh, what was that? Why did I just hear a loud beep? Uh, who else is moving around? Um, okay, I mean, you're chilling right there, pointing directly at the menu. Look, uh, newsflash, uh, Baz... I don't have any sort of, uh, you know, hunger whatsoever. I know that the only thing that you hunger is fear. And that fear is shown out for me. So, I, uh, nah, I don't need you in my office whatsoever. So, yeah, and got the Ryan cardboard cutout right there looking real, uh, well, ominous. I don't know if there's, like, a hidden security camera that's installed by one of the owners here. You know, just recording my, uh, you know, terrifying uh, state that I'm in. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just not gonna use the cameras all that much since Baz is only the other animatronic that's moving around tonight, so how you doing over there? Yeah, I still don't trust that um, freaking Bugs plushie a whole lot at all. Yeah, after a uh, plethora of incidents involving with Bugs Burgers. <laughs> oh man, I do not want to talk about one certain character with hyper-realistic eyes and just yeah, I don't want to talk about that guy, man. He. <laughs> Alright, anyways, uh, how you doing over there? I'll just uh, continuously look around the office, and hopefully no one else is moving. Okay, it appears that no one else is moving whatsoever. I'm at 50% power at 3 a.m., and uh, not too bad. I mean, this is night one after all, so not a whole lot of stuff is going on for tonight. Okay. I like the looping, uh background music. It's kind of relaxing in a way. You know, about to put me to freaking sleep, huh? Nah, but for real, man. I really do like this game so far. Just, you know, looking on the cameras and then just, uh, you know, seeing all of these uh, uh, FNAF YouTubers that I've uh, watched, uh, you know, for a while now just turned into these, like, animatronics here. And, okay. Oh, you're, I see you right there. <laughs> Just checking up on, uh, you know, Fusion on the stage. I see, uh, Baz. Just, uh, keeping one eye closely on him just to see if he's about to move around a little bit. Okay. Say so you're just still chilling out right there in that one camera. That's good to know. It's just that I don't need you to disappear from that camera and be directly outside my office, which that'll be a whole other problem of its own self. So, yeah, I didn't really gonna fear if that's gonna freaking happen. I mean, uh, like always, I will uh, deal with you promptly, so, yeah. And if I get murked by you, then I will learn from my mistake, and then I'll, uh, you know, come back from the dead and we'll finish off this night shift once and for all. I mean, uh, do you want a flat carbonated beverage by any chance, uh, anyone of y'all? I don't know how long that burger's been sat right there on the desk. Ugh. They're just, like, stuck in a fridge or something like that, but I can already start to see, like, mold spores collecting on the freaking surface of that. So, yeah, I don't want to get sick from anything that's been left out for quite some time. Okay, so, is there anything else that's going on here? Uh, no one else is moving around. Uh, Daka is still chilling up on his stage. You're up there, a mainly badass hero. All right, good. All right, just, what the, okay, that was some more camera interference. Did someone else just move? <laughs> or maybe that's uh, just a display uh, effect on the cameras, just making it look like that someone's moving. Uh, I don't think. 
yeah, I think Baz is the only one that's moving around for tonight. So yeah, uh, 6 a.m., I need you to take on over right now. Okay. Just looking around my office and there appears to be nothing else going on whatsoever. Oh, you moved. Where'd you go? Uh, where'd you go? Um, that's a problem. Where? Where'd you go? Um, oh crap. Well, that is not good. Uh, Baz, please don't tiptoe the office and get me like that. Okay. Where are you, by the way, buddy? No, you're not going to reveal your location. Oh, crap. Uh, well, that's not good. If I don't know where he is, then... Oh! Okay, well... <laughs> thank you, 6AM, for jumping me instead. I appreciate that a whole lot. So, night one has been... Well, finished up here. Now I got, like, a couple of more nights on this uh, temporary three-night stay at this place. Just to get a whole overall feel of this location and... Well, ultimately, can I wait to work the full night shift here? And, uh, <laughs> how you doing, man? Uh, just shaking your head all over the place in the menu screen, just like, uh, what Daco did before. I'll, uh, go ahead and get started with night two. Are you telling me not to return here? Well, guess what, buddy? I'm gonna freaking get back into this location, whether it's the last thing that I want to do for that sweet paycheck, okay? Yeah, I know that Ryan has given me some more, uh... I don't know, heated warnings to not return back to his location whatsoever. I'm gonna go back anyways and get started with night two. And I know that another animatronic's gonna move around. Bazamalambo will attack from the right doorway. Close the door on him. Oh, I see. And, uh... How you doing over there, Ryan? Just chilling at the bottom of the screen like that. So today is June 8th, 1989, Monday. What is with the sudden lighting change? That also happened with Bugs Burgers. Huh? Welcome back, Rez. Oh, I hope the uh, last night didn't give you too much trouble. Now, a oh. few things happen in the morning when you are out. There might be two new problems now, but hopefully they won't be too much for you. Uh, for one, the Ryan animatronic has been having some malfunctions. Uh, you know, nothing too oh, major, really? I don't think. But the CCS I mentioned yesterday is messed up for Ryan, too. So, yeah, he's been a little uh, funky today. But I don't know why. Now, you probably oh. wondered what the other problem is. Yep. There goes Ryan, and the freaking phone guy got cut off. Great. So, uh, Ryan is also oh, moving for oh, time. What the? Uh, hello? What's happening? Uh, what is with the power shutting off? Uh, ooh. Okay, that's a big problem, and I can't go back onto my camera system either since the problem is, well, the whole freaking power is uh, out. So yeah, now I just gotta look around the office at well, anything that's about to come for me whatsoever. Okay. Well, oh, uh, who are you guys? Uh, why are you popping up in my window for, huh? I don't have any extra uh, flat carbonated beverages. Uh, Y'all three get lost. Or maybe you just like seeing me bamboozle like this, huh? It had come to me what in the thing? midst of some darkened mist. I had only just settled into slumber when it came to the village. To the house. A scratching like the talons of some unholy creature digging into the wood. I, I had stumbled to the door, but I dared not open it at first. The scratching since had faded away, replaced with soft rapping on the wood. I peeked outside and I locked eyes with a beast. Its eyes shone as bright as the hottest ember of hell. Its fur as dark as coal with forked tongue and cloven hooves. Like that of Lucifer himself. I fell to my knees and my vision became cloudy. That's I still don't remember oh. what happened That's afterwards. Uh, okay, then, uh, that's very cryptic, and I'm very intrigued on, uh, you know, that background information that you're giving me. But, uh, can I close the doors? Can I? Oh, what the? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Uh, hello? Um, who is there? Uh, 
not great. Is there like a Oh. And I got jump scared. Okay. <laughs> and uh, this is what the uh, game over screen looks like. Missing person. Night guard missing. Owner of Ryan's question about possible kidnapping. In the early hours of yesterday afternoon. Uh, and now the freaking owner's name is all censored out. The owners of Ryan's reported that one of his staff members had unexpectedly gone missing. The victim, an anonymous security guard, had taken up the night shift at the restaurant in question. He was last seen entering the establishment around 10.50 p.m. Blank is currently being questioned by the police. He is suspected to have kidnapped their night guard from the restaurant during their night shift. <laughs> yeah, it's not like that an animatronic actually, uh, you know, came into the office and bashed me in the freaking face at all. So, yeah, and I guess them dead permanently. Oh, great. Fusion will slowly move away from the stage before rushing down the right hallway and appearing at the window. And, oh, I see. Now I'm back at the office here. Welcome back, Brad. I hope the last night didn't give you too much trouble. Now, a few things happen in the morning when you are out. There might be two new problems now, but hopefully they won't be too much for you. Uh, for one, the Ryan animatronic has been having some malfunctions, uh, you know. Nothing too major, I don't think. But the CCS I mentioned yesterday is messed up for Ryan, too. So, yeah, he's been a little uh, funky today. I don't know why. Now, you're probably wondering what the other problem is. Okay, so I don't know if I can do anything else here. Uh, I guess that y'all three are going to be standing there for a longer amount of time than I expected in the first place. Yeah, I don't know if uh, anyone else is going to be attacking me. Yeah. Hello? What? Oh, whoa. What happened? Uh, oh, okay. Oh. Uh, the power shut the back on. The power okay, went out. Uh-oh. Crap. Well, hey, I taco guess that it. makes it easier to explain. So, uh, as you can see, we've been having problems with the power lately. The pot's too apparent on schedule until next week. So, you're gonna have to deal with some electrical problems for the rest of the week. Yeah, Sorry that about be fine. that. Other than that, business is going fine. Oh, Doctor's hey, around. Hey, at this rate, we might even be able to raise your paycheck. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, anyway, great, have a good night, man. Take it easy, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll hopefully talk to you tomorrow, and, uh, you know, hopefully that these guys are not going to be right beside my office here, causing me so much trouble, but, you yeah, know, how these situations work out every time. Uh, what was that? Oh, I just uh, hung up my phone, back up, just to conserve my phone battery for the rest of the night in case if I want to call up some, uh, you know, emergency if anything goes dire. And, uh, yeah, why well, don't I ever do that on uh, any of these night shifts whatsoever? I mean, I do see that Ryan is... Oh, crap. Coming real closer now. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, Daco is parting both those doors open. That is really sick there. Uh... Where did Brian go? Uh, oh. Oh, hi there. So that's what it looks like whenever Ryan appears at the door. Okay. So, uh, do you eventually go away, back off to the stage? I'm just gonna leave that closed in case if you're still standing there. That oh man should be for my safety there. Okay. And that is how you properly deal with the Ryan animatronic. Yeah, get wrecked, man. <laughs> don't want to have my, uh, you know, whole entire life be turned into a freaking mechanical monster. Yeah, that's, uh, well, not the afterlife that I want to be, uh, part of. Okay, I, I don't know what else is going on right now, <laughs> aside from these, uh, three goobers that are moving around. Okay, so there goes Daco in the center of that hallway there. Oh, man. So it's currently 3 a.m. at 58% power, which is a good thing. Alright, I'm just going to be waiting for anyone else to show up here relatively soon. Alright, and uh, Baz is still keeping a watchful eye on <laughs> Fusion right up in there at the stage. Uh, you know what? That is uh, you know, really great to see that you animatronics still have each other's back. Oh, what? Oh, hi! 
Hi there, Daco. Yeah, I'm just gonna blight you with a whole lot of lumens. Yeah, get out of here. And that is how you deal with Daco there. And he's uh, off somewhere else, back at that center hallway. That is good to, you know, that mechanic there. Alright, so I'm just gonna be, you know, keeping my eyes peeled on every entryway possible into my office here. Golly, I gotta well, let my colleague know about the freaking air pollution in this place. I don't know who knocked out the nearest septic tank here, because there is a full-on sewage leak at this place. Golly. Yeah, no wonder this place is uh, on a downward spiral to, you know, close down soon. See, so, yeah, Daco does really like to get all up in the window. I mean, uh, if you want more flashlight lumens to your eyeballs, then yeah. Yeah, step right up. Uh, the flashlight's gonna be on 24-7. So, yeah, uh, do you want to make a grand appearance yet again, man? What the? Oh, hi. Uh, hi there, Ryan. <laughs> gonna shut the door in your face so you can get on out of here. Man, I've, I've had so much fun with this uh, you know, so far. And, uh, I'll need one more hour here until uh, 6 a.m. You can finally tick on over. Just to actually see all the FNAF tubers turn into animatronics like this. And then dealing with them firsthand. As a fellow FNAF tuber, uh, you know, Rasbowski. <laughs> yeah, there's a little bit of funny feeling to that there. Oh man, and I'm already starting to feel a lot of funnies in my system with all this, uh, you know, sewage gas that I'm breathing in. So yeah, 6 a.m. can you finally uh, tick on over here? And uh, I did notice that Baz hasn't um, showed up to the office just yet, so uh, yeah, that's a good thing uh, that he hasn't showed up either. However, I don't know where he is, so that's also a bad thing. Okay, looks like Ryan is going off somewhere else. And Oh, hiya there, doggo. <laughs> Trying to stretch out your animatronic back? Let's see you there. Trying to get all your animatronic servos worked up. And there we go. Night 2 has been wrapped up. Oh, man. Yet another uh, very interesting night with those uh, three specters uh, telling me a very uh, demonic story. I mean, hey, at least, uh, you know, they went away eventually and I was able to deal with everyone for the rest of night 2. And, uh... We only have one last night for this uh, demo here, and that's gonna be night three, and... Hey, how you doing, Daku? Uh, hey, nice to see you again on the main menu screen, uh, still shaking around like an absolute maniac in your animatronic form, uh... So, yeah, I wonder how this night's gonna play out as... Golly, I still really do love this, uh, old vintage music that's playing in the background. Alright, night three! Let's see what's gonna happen next. Alright. Here goes the loading screen with the uh, 8-bit Ryan looking at that very useful, uh, you know, tip for the game uh, involving with Baz, but I haven't seen him just yet on the right side of my office. June 9th, 1999, Tuesday. Ah, really now? What is with the purple lights in this place here? Uh, okay then? I guess I'll, uh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Uh, hello? Hey, oh, my name is Dave. I... I need help. Someone dragged me up and I think they said they were going to kill me later. I'm just hoping I'm talking to the security guard right now. Man, you hear one I know that, that I know. It's not this late. I'll try to call him tomorrow too. But, man, I don't know where I am in the building, but I think I'm right on your feet. This place is deep, man. I'll see if I can find anything down here. But I'm counting on you to tell someone I'm here. Don't you worry, my good old uh, mysterious friend. I'll make sure that someone, uh, you know, sent after to save your life, all right, bud? Uh, great, so now someone has uh, messed with the uh, light system in this place. We went from uh, all over the color spectrum, and now we uh, finally landed on that good old-fashioned, uh, you know, William Afton Purple. Uh, okay, I don't know if he has, like, any sort of uh, hand at this. Uh, situation here. All right, so uh, someone has clearly uh, called under distress there, and so uh, they want me to help them out as much as they want me to. However, uh, 
you know, like standard protocol, I'm required to sit in this office until 6 a.m. So yeah, you have to, you know, be held out there as much as possible, unfortunately, my guy. So yeah, after this is all done, then I'll uh, see where you are. Oh, oh, hi there. So just uh, shut that door in your face and... Oh, shoot. Okay, so uh, I wonder what your main mechanic is going to be here. All right, so Ryan is back on the stage. All right, let me just look on the other cameras. And uh, Daco is moving around, along with Baz. So, yeah, that is clearly not a good sign at all. And uh, he's made it into the building. Uh, could you just, like, stay on top of the freaking roof as much as you uh, want to desire? That is a very uh, pretty view of all those skyscrapers, and you just did not want to sit up there for the rest of this week. Uh, come on, man. Can you just... Uh, work with me here. I just want to get my easy paycheck and get on out of here. And so you guys can go on with your uh, measly animatronic, well, existences inside of this uh, restaurant here. Oh, great. So where are you uh, wandering on to? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, real uh, great looking that all of them are just looking at me very weirdly on the cameras. Okay. So... I have no idea where he is. Okay. Yeah, how you doing, man? Yeah, uh, while you're at it, uh, can you order me something? I kind of feel a little bit uh, hungry here. And I got like a three-day-old burger that's still sitting on my desk. It's probably over that uh, time frame. What? Uh, what is that? What is happening? Okay. Uh, why is the alarm system ringing? Johnny, what the duel? What? You two know the drill. What are Go you in, doing get those microchips, and get out. See any security in there? Oh. Kill them. Hi there, you got to look that? cute. Now cover me while I get in. Oh, great. So now I'm dealing with thieves that are breaking into the place? To, okay, really now? <laughs> and I just saw that uh, Bailey Bata here was like up there for a split second. They didn't even like see that whatsoever okay so now i'm dealing with highly aggressive animatronics and thieves breaking into the premises really so now i'm uh, getting the full night guard experience this is like uh one of the first few times that i'm actually dealing with thieves uh, in a way oh uh, hi what do you think y'all are trying to accomplish here okay they're not even gonna pay Ryan any sort of mind that maybe them and the animatronics are cahoots with one another. Ah, oh, great. Probably gonna come in here and bash me on the face, huh? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, by the way, does that not even hurt your eyes whatsoever? You're sensitive to light, unfortunately. And, uh, oh. Whoa, I saw him move for a second. Oh, hi there. How you doing? Now I'm just gonna blind you with, uh, more of my, uh, flash of light here. Alright, good. And so now you're uh, back over there in the hallway. Oh, that is still so creepy. Okay, just want to make sure that no one's in the, you know, my peripherals whatsoever. Alright, are you going to move at all? I I'm just going to be staring at you as much as I want to on the cameras. Oh, where is that at? Uh, oh, great. Maybe they're starting to ransack the place. Right? Oh, shoot. Yeah, get out of here. I see you at the foot of my office ever again. However, that's going to happen for the next couple of times. So yeah, they just uh, left him up there for, like, extra surveillance in a way. Not oh, great. So whenever I call for any sort of help, he's going to be, uh, you know, bashing their faces with a freaking baseball bat. Great. All right. Oh, crap. He is coming towards my office. Uh, or are you back at the stage and your back is still <laughs> aching from like standing up there for so long. Uh, yeah, I feel you, man. Uh, you know, back pain is not a joke at all. Hope you uh, get well soon with uh, some new fixes to your endoskeleton. So yeah, I really do wish you all the best. Uh... Okay. Yeah, so he is like leaning right out of that door just looking for something. Uh, okay, so you are uh, coming real closer to my freaking office. That is very wonderful, man. <gasps> okay. Why? Why are you right there? Okay, do I just gotta put the mask on for you? So you can get lost? 
That is real scary, man. Uh, go away. Go back up to the freaking roof and leave me alone. Why are you right there? Oh, okay. Well, that... Oh, I don't like that at all. Just with him standing right there behind me. I can see that your eyes are all whitened up. Oh, I don't like that. Okay. Go away. Get out of here. Okay. What? Don't you dare freaking whack me in the, the... Get out of here. I'm nothing but an animatronic. Go away, man. Why are you doing this to me? No. Uh-uh. Get out of here, man. You can steal all of my money out of my wallet. That It's in my back pocket, man. Can you just leave me alone? Okay. I think... He's gone away. That's great. Oh. Yeah, I thought so. Wait, what the... Huh? He's sneaking away. Oh! Uh, what's going on? So I've reached 6 a.m. And, uh... Okay, he is teleporting. Probably from up the roof and uh, from directly right behind me. I, I don't know what's happening right now. Uh... Oh, no. I recognize that sound from anywhere. Oh, gosh. Not this background ambience. Oh, come on. I remember, like, hearing this for the first time, and it was super cursed. I did not expect for this thing to come back out. Why am I still in the office? Uh, okay. Well, there goes Baz attacking for the first time. Oh, my gosh. What the? What the? Uh, oh. Okay, so I got bashed. Okay. <laughs> oh, there he goes. So that's what it looks like whenever he walks over to the front of the freaking office and then <laughs> acts like a creeper, I see. Oh, what? Wow, that was silent. <laughs> So, that's what, uh, Ryan's jump scare looks like. Yeah, a couple of other little references that I really wanted to point out are the little Game Theory logo that's, like, right there, laying on the side of the fan, and the 98XX, which is a reference to a, uh, you know, real neat, uh, indie horror game that I really do want to check out for myself at some point. Did not appreciate you, uh, bashing me in the face with the crowbar, man. <laughs> Goodbye, Daco. Off to the stage with you. Okay? Just get lost. There you go. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, so it's currently 6 a.m. right now, and this guy is still breathing right behind me with that bat. So close to my face, and I don't really like that. Okay, so I'm just going to keep this mask on at all times in case if anything else bad were to happen. Got to keep my eyes and ears out for any other animatronics here that will appear at one of my doorways here. Okay. Oh, come on. Alright, good. I know that you're still behind me. Please, can you just go away? Okay. Just... Okay, please? I'm so close. I'm not doing anything wrong. Just... I can keep you here forever? Uh, what do you mean by that? Uh... Who do you think you are to keep me in this, uh, digital hexscape forever, huh? I don't want to stay here for the rest of my life. Uh, please don't. Oh, gosh. Uh, and this creepy ambience is getting louder and louder in the background. Okay, uh... Well, how long is this gonna go on for, please? I don't want to suffer this, uh, agony anymore. 
closed and uh, Daco just you know walked up to the window a couple of times and the back guy was just uh you know he kept on doing his thing right behind me okay uh hi there Ryan animatronic that is ooh, currently laying oh that is so creepy man <laughs> no like genuinely that really does Ugh. oh and look at that I got myself a deserved star right on the menu for finishing off that oh insane three night demo i cannot imagine what the full-on game is gonna look like and a real appropriate end for mainly bad at hero for taking up his uh, main spotlight on the main menu screen golly you put your hands right in front of my face trying to feel all over the freddy mask god <laughs> yeah that you really are a real menace to deal with, aren't you, huh? But golly, I cannot oh, fathom dealing with you a whole lot more in the full game of A Shadow Over Ryan's, and that was pretty much all it for this three-night demo for A Shadow Over Ryan's. Hey, Daka, do you want to knock that window out? Oh, you actually did, uh, oh my god, whoa, okay, that was a really sick looking jump scare, holy crap, I think I got sucked down into the void, uh, yet again, I know, oh, there's this jump scare, golly, you look real dapper with your, uh, red scarf, huh? Wait, hold on. This is a different newspaper here. New restaurant closing. Night guard strangled to death. Owner of Ryan's faces charges of murder. In the early hours of yesterday afternoon, an undisclosed witness called the police to the site of a supposed homicide. A police report was filed and issued to the public, and a corpse of a security guard was found in the main office. The victim, an anonymous security guard, was found with marks around the throat and neck, leading the coroner to conclude the victim had been choked to death. The owner of the restaurant has been charged with manslaughter. And there goes the power. So both of the doors fly on open, so that means Ryan and Baz have a chance of, well, getting in the place. And, uh, yep, there goes Ryan. So I guess they're going to be the first lucky animatronic, uh, to actually... And there you go. <laughs> That's what Baz's jump scare looks like. So that was pretty much all it for this three night demo for a Shadow Over Ryan's. This was an amazing three night demo showcasing off what the full on game was gonna be. And one thing that I really did like about this entire game were the random events that happened throughout each of the nights. For night two, those specters 
freaking pretty much shot off the entire power and then told us that really creepy tale along with the introduction of those uh, band of visits that were out to freaking uh, you know murk me in the office because uh, you know no witnesses whatsoever and uh, they wanted to take all the tech for themselves and uh, do some nefarious things with the Ryan's animatronics and uh, yeah, it was uh, very peculiar how the you know FNAF Tuber animatronics and uh, you know those uh, you know fricks that broke into the joint yeah they were both uh, you know working together to pretty much take me down and uh, you know ultimately end off a good old uh, couple of runs that I had and well yeah I wonder if there's like any sort of thing going on between both of those groups huh maybe they probably hacked into uh, you know Ryan and the gang and so they just uh, set their targeting parameters onto me and uh, yeah uh, yeah, I was a dead man for sure, and I really did like each of their jump scares along with the, you know, thieves that had their own jump scares as well, and, uh, you know, that little cute Gilbert that was, uh, you know, hanging on the roof, I wonder what his jump scare looks like. Yeah, my favorite overall one out of this entire demo has to go to the Daco animatronic. Golly, that was such an intense jump scare of him just pulling us down into the void never to be seen uh, ever again. Yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, golly man, everyone did such an amazing job in this freaking game so far. And yeah, I definitely will be looking forward to the full-on game whenever that comes out in the future. Because golly man, this really does have a whole lot of potential for it. The freaking scares were good. I really did like, you know, the gameplay in the office, the random stuff that was, uh, you know, spruced up uh, around in a couple of the nights. And, uh, you know, that last bit with, uh, you know, that familiar, uh, disturbing ambience just gradually building up. And then, you know, having that classic fourth wall break, just like with Bugs Burgers. I'm not going to say anything else on that matter. If y'all haven't, um, you know, seen my gameplay series of Bugs Burgers yet, then definitely go check that out if y'all haven't already, because, wow, that is another insane trip all on its own. And, yep, yeah, those are my overall thoughts on A Shadow Over Ryan's. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to have that creepy shot of that uh, Ryan animatronic after that I've uh, pretty much finished off Night 3 for, uh, you know... Uh, some of my uh, next few dreams, uh, you know, gradually turning into nightmares. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Empty Ryan Suit, for, oh uh, man, haunting my mind for the next several hours. But yeah, that's pretty much all I for this three night demo for A Shadow Over Ryan's. And yeah, I really did thoroughly enjoy it. And I absolutely do think that the full game is going to be, oh man, just as insane or, well, even more intense than, uh, you know, what I've played through thus far, and yeah, it's gonna be a really great game. So if anyone has enjoyed this one-off video as I play through this three-night demo of A Shadow of Orion's, then y'all know what to do down there since all of you are amazing. Like, comment, and definitely subscribe if y'all haven't already, or else you'll be forced to work the night shift over at Ryan's, and uh, good luck to you for trying to, you know, fend off everyone else, or else, uh, you know, there's gonna be some weird sounds playing in your mind, and, uh, yeah, all of those animatronics, including the thieves that broke into the place, will surround the office and, uh, you know, just hold on to dear life and uh, just use that freaking mask since that is the only key to your survival. Golly, ain't that freaking uh, descriptive. And hit that bell to be notified of all my future content and streams because I do sometimes stream my channel. That's about it, so I'll see you all in the next video or stream. Thank you guys so much for watching this, and yeah, see y'all.